right, guys. Hey, welcome to my actual first live stream of opening anything. All my previous stuff has been recorded. Uh, this is the True Tato Gaming um, stream. Uh, so I'm very kind of excited to get going in this. Uh, today I'm going to be opening up some Disney Lorcana. I'm going to be just opening up the one starter deck today. It's going to be the Aladdin and Cruella de Vil. Uh, so it's Emerald and Ruby going into this box. I do plan on having some more uh, Lorcana come in. I already, I already have like two more starter decks to open up. So uh, those are going to be on different days. Uh, we're going to be doing some booster openings, some fat packs, and uh, the gift box. I also plan on doing some uh, Magic the Gathering and some Pokemon openings in addition to streaming uh, live games such as like Rocket League, Valheim, uh, Magic Arena, uh, to name a few. So this is just like an all-around channel, you know, to do just play games, uh, you know, showcase cards, and just have fun with friends. So if you'd like to join us, hey, the more the merrier. But uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and get into opening up this Disney Lorcana uh, pack. So in this pack here, um, it says it's got, uh, you know, your your deck list here. It's got some showcase cards, you know, that are supposed to be the foil cards out of it. Uh, you get a play mat out of this thing, and then also you get an additional booster, uh, an additional booster pack in this, so that you could actually uh, customize the deck a little bit. Um, if you're part of my Discord, on my Discord I do have links to like the rules and stuff like that, and learning how to play. Um, I'm definitely excited to be able to try this out. Well, with some of you in my local area. Um, so it looks like it's got the the lore counter here and then some counters for when you do damage to the other players cards. This looks like yep this is the the folded up play mat to show you the layout of the cards so there's that that lore counter there going up all the way up to 20 and how you're supposed to lay out your cards and the booster pack and then this appears to be the quick setup rules going into playing the game I'm going to go ahead and move all this stuff up here. Uh, looks like they use the wax paper to seal all this stuff together. I really do like the backings of these cards. They did a really nice job with the design and doing the backings of these Lorcana cards. So this is a 60 card uh, two color deck um, for Disney Lorcana. We got two Aladdins. A Cruella de Vil. Oh, different Aladdins. Oh, this one's got like shiny foil on the sword. That's kind of cool. Duke of Wesselton, Horace, Iago, and Jasper, the Mad Hatter, uh, Megara. That was actually one of my favorites growing up. Was was the the Hercules movie. Looks like uh, Steamboat Willie, even though it says Mickey Mouse. We got some Peter Pan, 
Mother's Knows Best from the Rapunzel movie, Stampede from Lion King, Steal from the Rich from Robin Hood. This is like one of the saddest scenes that I ever watched as a kid. The vicious betrayal of Scar. We got a stolen scimitar. Some more Aladdin. So it looks like there's a, just like with any of the other TCGs, there's some sort of just upgrade, I guess, from one Aladdin to another, or there's just different different cards all together that you can play. Captain, Donald Duck, LeFoe from the Beauty and the Beast. We got Pongo from 101 Dalmatians on here. Rapunzel. Scar. Sergeant Tips. Stitch, Dragon's Fire. He's got a sword! You idiot! We all have swords! And then uh, the Shield of Virtue. Um, from looking at some of the rules um, for uh, this game here, this would be the attack and the defense of the character. If you're looking to gain lore, because you don't actually attack a player, you just uh, exert the card, so tap your card, so they call it exerting. Um, you turn it to the side, and you would add lore counters up your lore path um, with as many as that were there. Um, if you are exerted and it's your opponent's turn, they may challenge any exerted uh, character card and they would permanently lose that damage. So that's where like these negative one and negative three counters would come in because those stay permanent until the card reaches the discard area from my understanding. Um, and then whoever reach, reaches 20 lore first is going to win the match. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up this booster pack and see what we could find. Um, I know that there are some I guess they're called the Enchanted Rarity. Oh wow, this pack's a little hard to open. So Alright, let's look at what we got here for this booster pack that they gave us in this set. So we got Flounder, Sergeant Tibbs, the Dinglehopper, Yzma, the Stolen Scimitar, Fire the Cannons, the Mad Hatter, Scepter of Arendelle, Cinderella, Kuzco, Tomatoa, because he's shiny. I wish it was a shiny one, but he is, he himself is so shiny. And then it looks like Goons is the foil that comes in the back. I really like the foils that they did for these cards. It's, it's, it's a different uh, type of foiling process than I've seen on any of the other TCGs. And then we got the bottom right piece to the little puzzle. And uh, I guess there's four pieces to this. And you can create the Mickey Mouse Brave Little Tailor picture with just those four. Um, so that's the uh, booster pack there for... Aladdin and Maleficent, I believe it was. No, Cruella de Vil. Aladdin and Cruella de Vil. And then uh, later on, I'll be doing the Sorcerer Mickey and Moana. 
and then the Aurora and Simba starter decks uh, to see uh, what's in those. I'm really excited to dig into the world of Lorcana and become an Illumineer, as they call them. So, and uh, I hope you guys at least enjoy this a little bit. And tune in next time for either an opening or some live action gameplay from uh, one of the couple games that I listed earlier or maybe something else. Uh, usually I'm playing with my friends in the evening. So I hope you all have a good day and thank you.